Welcome to this video. Today we're looking at a particularly important topic, why you should never accept gifts from certain people. The universe has sent us an important warning, and it's crucial that you take this message seriously. In this video, we talk about the seven types of people you should never accept gifts from and why it's better to be careful. These seven types often have hidden agendas behind their seemingly innocent gifts. They could be small tokens of appreciation, expensive gifts or even seemingly useful things. But the intentions behind them are often anything but kind. In Chapter 2, you will also find out why you need to be particularly careful when someone gives you honey. Imagine receiving a gift from someone who always makes you feel guilty because you are supposedly not grateful enough. Or think of the person who keeps telling you secrets just to keep you trapped in their web of lies and manipulation. Maybe you know someone who gives you gifts out of jealousy, just to keep you under control and sabotage your success. Then there's the controller who uses their gifts to monitor and manipulate you. And what about the energy sucker? Every gift he gives you comes at a high price, your energy and well-being. The selfish one only gives to make themselves feel better or to expect something in return. And finally, the hidden enemy, this type is often overlooked because their gifts are so cleverly disguised. But be warned, this person also has no good intentions and plans to hurt you from ambush. Today we will talk in detail about why it is often better not to accept such gifts. It's important to recognize the true nature behind gifts and understand that they are often used to manipulate, control or even harm you. We'll dive deep into the psychology and hidden agendas of these types of people and give you the tools to protect yourself. Now we turn our attention to the first type of person, the manipulator. Manipulators are masters of disguise and know how to hide their true intentions. Their gifts are often expensive and seem generous, but their true intention is to get you into an emotional or social bind. They want to gain control over your life and make you dependent. Imagine you receive a luxurious gift from a friend, say an expensive watch or an exclusive handbag. You are overwhelmed by the generosity and at the same time feel obliged to reciprocate this generosity. But here's the problem, these gifts are not just gifts. They are tools of manipulation. The manipulator wants to make sure you feel trapped in their guilt and loyal to them. There are some typical warning signs you should look out for to recognize a manipulator. Manipulators tend to be very charming and persuasive. They know how to exploit your weaknesses and skillfully play on your emotions. If you have the feeling that someone is trying to influence you too much or force things on you, be careful. A good example of this is our viewer Lisa. Lisa told me her story of how she managed to defy manipulation. She kept receiving expensive gifts from a colleague who always seemed friendly and helpful. But Lisa soon realized that these gifts did not come without ulterior motives. Her colleague constantly expected something in return and tried to influence her decisions. Lisa recognized the manipulative tactics and began to set clear boundaries. She politely declined further gifts and made it clear to her colleague that she didn't want to make any commitments. It wasn't easy, but Lisa stood firm and was able to maintain her independence. To protect yourself from such manipulation, it is important that you set clear boundaries. You must learn to refuse gifts if you feel that they have hidden agendas. Be honest and direct, but also polite. Explain that you do not want to accept gifts that could put you under obligation. If the manipulator insists, this is a clear sign that their intentions are not pure. Remember that true friends and people who mean well don't need gifts to show their affection or appreciation. It's the small gestures and sincere support that count. Don't be blinded by expensive gifts and trust your gut feeling. If something is wrong, it probably is. The guilt generator uses gifts to make you feel guilty. These people don't just give you something to make you happy. No, their intention is to emotionally blackmail you and force you to do things that you don't actually want to do. Imagine someone gives you a beautiful glass jar of honey. Sounds harmless, right? But shortly afterwards you hear sentences like, I gave you the honey, 
Now you could do me a favor. This is where the manipulation begins. These people know exactly how to use their gifts as leverage. It starts harmlessly, perhaps with small offers of help or seemingly friendly gestures. But then comes the moment when you get the feeling that you are in debt. Typical statements are, after all I've done for you, or I've always helped you, why can't you do something for me for once? It is important to recognize the behavior of these people. They tend to constantly remind you of their help and gifts, putting you under pressure. They expect you to feel obligated to them and fulfill their wishes, regardless of how you feel about it. Their aim is to make you emotionally dependent and to control you. Another example is our viewer Anna. Anna told us how she kept receiving small gifts from a friend, sometimes a cake, sometimes a nice book. At first, Anna thought it was just kindness. But she soon realized that her friend always pointed out these gifts whenever she wanted something from Anna. I baked you this cake the other day, couldn't you take my shift today? Anna felt under constant pressure and didn't know how to get out of this trap. By the way, if you want to share your story too, which I'm sure will help others a lot, write it in the comments so I can read it. The key to protecting yourself from the guilt inducer is to set clear boundaries and distance yourself emotionally. You must learn to politely decline such gifts and make it clear that you will not reciprocate. It's perfectly okay to say a no -ish. You don't owe anyone anything just because they gave you a gift. Explain that you don't see gifts as an obligation and that true friendship is not based on reciprocation. A good way to protect yourself is to communicate honestly and directly. Say things like, yeah I really appreciate the gift, but I can't promise that I'll always do something in return. Be firm in your convictions and don't let guilt get in the way. It's also helpful to have these conversations early on to avoid misunderstandings and set clear expectations from the start. Remember that real friends and people who mean well for you don't expect anything in return for their gifts. They are giving you a gift out of pure affection and not to manipulate or pressure you. If you have the feeling that someone is trying to influence you with gifts, take a step back and think about whether this relationship is really healthy for you. With this knowledge, you are now better prepared to recognize guilt generators and see through their manipulative tactics. Stay strong and set clear boundaries to protect yourself from emotional blackmail. The secret keeper is someone who uses expensive or rare gifts to cover up their own mistakes or unpleasant truths. These people are adept at confusing you with shiny distractions, so you don't look too closely. Their gifts are designed to keep you from asking questions or making inquiries. Imagine receiving a luxurious piece of jewelry or a rare collectible. You are overwhelmed by the generosity and feel honored. But this is exactly where the trap lies. The secretive person wants to draw your attention to the gift so that you don't notice what's going on in the background. Perhaps they are hiding financial problems, an affair or other unpleasant truths. These gifts are tools of distraction designed to prevent you from digging deeper. A typical warning sign for the secret keeper is that the gifts often come at moments when you might ask questions or when something is wrong. Suddenly an expensive gift appears and the focus is diverted from the problems. These people use material goods to put up a front and disguise their true intentions. To protect yourself from the secret keeper's tactics, it is important to remain vigilant and question the intentions behind the gifts. Always ask yourself why you are receiving this gift right now. Is there something you could be overlooking? Try to be honest and open about your concerns and demand transparency. You have a right to know the truth and should not be deceived by gifts. Another important step is to strengthen communication in the relationship. Ask clear questions and don't let yourself be distracted by material things. Make it clear that you value honesty and that gifts do not solve problems. It's important that you stay true to yourself and don't ignore your intuition. If you have the feeling that someone is trying to manipulate you with gifts, do not hesitate to refuse these gifts. State clearly that you don't want any distractions and that honesty is paramount in the relationship. 
A true friend or partner will respect this and will not need material goods to build trust. Stay strong and trust your gut. With this knowledge, you'll be better equipped to see through the secret keeper's tactics and protect yourself. In the next chapter, we will look at the jealous person and find out how you can recognize and avoid their manipulative tactics. The jealous person uses gifts to foster feelings of competition or dependency. These gifts are not out of pure kindness, but serve to put you in a position of inferiority or to ensure that you feel obligated. Jealous people often give expensive or special gifts to show off their generosity while diminishing your achievements. A typical example is when someone regularly gives you expensive gifts such as designer clothes, exclusive watches or high-end electronics. They may also give you extravagant dinners, luxurious vacations, precious jewelry, rare collectibles, fine wines, VIP tickets to events, or even custom-made furniture. These gifts often come at moments when you have achieved something yourself or when they feel they need to outdo you. The jealous person wants to make sure that you feel inferior and are constantly reminded that you are in their debt. Jealous people often don't let their generosity go uncommented on. They constantly remind you of how much they do and sacrifice for you. The aim is to emotionally blackmail you and make you dependent. You can recognize a jealous person by the way they talk down your successes or overshadow them with their gifts. To protect yourself from the jealous person's tactics, it is important to set clear boundaries and refuse gifts that come with strings attached. Make it clear that you do not want to accept gifts that encourage feelings of competition or make you dependent. Explain that true friendship and appreciation should not be based on material exchange. Question the motives behind the gifts. Why are you getting this gift right now? Is there a hidden agenda? If you have the feeling that the gift is more than just a friendly gesture, then it probably is. Let the jealous person know that you feel the gifts put you in an awkward position. A true friend will understand and respect your concerns. However, if the person insists on continuing to give you gifts, it may be time to reconsider the relationship. Remember that true appreciation and friendship should not be defined by material goods. You have the right to feel comfortable and appreciated without feeling like you have to give something back. Be brave and set clear boundaries to maintain your independence and self-esteem. A contraletti is someone who tries to exert power and control over your life through gifts. These people give you gifts not out of kindness, but to monitor and influence you. These types of gifts can be subtle but also obvious, and they aim to put you in a position where you feel obligated to them or dependent on them. A classic example of a control addict's gifts are practical or symbolic gifts that enable surveillance or influence. For example, they might give you a smartphone or laptop with the hidden intention of monitoring your communications. Other examples include fitness trackers that record your movements or smart home devices that can monitor your activities in your own home. The Contraletti could also give you symbolic gifts that remind you of its presence and power. These can range from books on self-discipline, calendars with motivational quotes that reflect their philosophy, to bracelets or pendants that are symbolic of their power or influence. The Contraletti wants to put you in a position where you feel like you are constantly being watched and controlled. They use their gifts as tools to exert their power over you and ensure that you remain within their sphere of influence. An important indicator that gifts imply control is if you feel uncomfortable or monitored after receiving the gift. You may notice that the controller keeps asking if you are using the gift or how you are doing with it. They may also show up unexpectedly or ask why you haven't done certain things related to the gift. To protect yourself from the manipulative tactics of the control addict, it is crucial to be assertive and set clear boundaries. Politely but firmly refuse such gifts. Explain that you do not want to accept gifts that could compromise your privacy or put you in a position of dependency. Be direct and make it clear that you value your independence and freedom and are not prepared to give these up for material goods. Another important step is to keep control of your own life. Realize that you are not accountable to anyone just because they have given you a gift. Emphasize your autonomy and independence in conversations and actions. 
show that you can shape your own life and don't need outside control. An energy sucker is someone who wants to steal your emotional or spiritual energy through gifts. These people don't give you gifts out of pure kindness, but to exploit you emotionally and drain your energy. Their gifts often come with emotional obligations that absorb your energy and attention. Typical examples of an energy sucker's gifts are those that make you invest a lot of time and emotional energy. They might give you a pet that requires care and attention, or give you a task that requires a lot of your time and energy. Other examples include homemade gifts that touch you emotionally and cause you to form a close bond, or expensive gifts that evoke a strong emotional response and put you in a position of guilt. Here are 10 specific examples of gifts that are often used by energy suckers. Pets that require constant care and attention. Homemade gifts that build emotional attachment. A weekend at a spa hotel that you have to spend together. Tickets to events where they expect your company. Expensive pieces of jewelry that evoke an emotional response. A book with personal dedications or stories. An emotionally meaningful heirloom. Handwritten letters with deep, personal messages. An elaborate photo album of your shared memories. A handmade work of art that demands a lot of emotional appreciation. Energy suckers often exhibit certain patterns of behavior. They tend to demand your attention and time over and over again, and their gifts often come with the expectation that you will reciprocate. They can also be manipulative, emphasizing their generosity and putting emotional pressure on you to meet their needs. If you feel like you're constantly burnt out or emotionally drained after receiving a gift, this could be a sign that you're dealing with an energy sucker. To protect yourself from the tactics of an energy sucker, it's important to set energetic boundaries. You must learn to politely decline such gifts and make it clear that you do not want to make any emotional commitments. Explain that you need to protect your own energy and time and that true friendship and appreciation should not be based on such commitments. Be direct and honest in your communication. Say things like, yeah I really appreciate the gift, but I can't commit to additional obligations. Show that you prioritize your energy and time and that you will not tolerate manipulative tactics. It's also helpful to take time for yourself regularly and make sure you have enough rest and recovery to stay energetically balanced. Another important step is to distance yourself from people who constantly drain your energy. Surround yourself with positive and supportive people who don't drain your energy. Recognize the signs early and be prepared to set boundaries to protect your emotional and spiritual health. With this knowledge, you are now better prepared to recognize the tactics of the energy sucker and protect yourself. In the next chapter, we will look at the selfish person and find out how you can see through and avoid their manipulative tactics. The selfish person is someone who mainly has their own benefit in mind by giving gifts. These people are not really thinking about your well-being, but about how they themselves can benefit from the gesture. Their gifts are intended to gain them recognition or to demand favors from you. Typical examples of a selfish person's gifts are those that benefit the giver more than the receiver. For example, they might give you a book that they themselves love and enjoy talking about, or a subscription to a service that they want to share with you. Other examples include invitations to events where they need you to accompany them, or gifts that are intended to involve you in their plans in some way. Here are 10 specific examples of gifts that are often used by selfish people. Books that the giver loves themselves and wants to discuss. Subscriptions to services they want to share with you. Invitations to events where they need you to accompany them. Tools or equipment they want to borrow for themselves. Gifts that promote their own interests and hobbies. Clothes or accessories that they would like to see on you. Homemade gifts that bring more self-praise than benefit. Tickets to events where they don't want to go alone. Projects or activities that require your participation. Vouchers for joint activities they have planned. The selfish person often exhibits certain patterns of behavior. They tend to present their gifts as a grand gesture and expect recognition or favors in return. Their gifts are often designed to fulfill their own needs, 
and they often emphasize how much effort they put into the gift. If you feel like you're doing more for the giver than for yourself, this could be a sign that you're dealing with a selfish person. To protect yourself from the selfish person's tactics, clear communication is key. You must learn to politely decline such gifts and make it clear that you do not want to accept gifts that will bring you more work or obligations. Explain that you prefer gifts that truly meet your needs and have no hidden strings attached. Be direct and honest in your communication. Say things like, e, I appreciate the gift, but I can't accept it because it doesn't really meet my needs. Show that you respect your own needs and boundaries and don't tolerate manipulative tactics. It's also helpful to clearly communicate your own expectations and insist that gifts should be unconditional. Another important step is to consciously distance yourself from people who are constantly trying to maximize their own benefit through gifts. Surround yourself with people who respect your needs and give you gifts that truly come from the heart. Recognize the signs early and be prepared to set boundaries to protect your independence and well-being. With this knowledge, you are now better prepared to recognize the selfish person's tactics and protect yourself. Stay strong and set clear boundaries to maintain your independence and self-esteem. This brings us to the final chapter, where we look at the hidden enemy and how you can see through and avoid their manipulative tactics. Remember in the introduction when I said that this guy is overlooked by many? Good thing you stuck around until here. The hidden enemy is the sneakiest of them all. This person gives you seemingly kind gifts that are actually harmful. The hidden enemy secretly wants to harm or sabotage you. Their gifts may seem nice and harmless at first glance, but they often contain hidden hostility. An example of such gifts could be a supposedly helpful book on a sensitive subject that embarrasses you or reinforces your insecurities. Maybe a food they know you don't like or are even allergic to. Another example could be a funny a gift that actually only serves to ridicule you or highlight your weaknesses. These gifts are carefully chosen to exploit your weaknesses and put you in an awkward position. Hidden enemies are particularly difficult to recognize because their hostility is cleverly concealed. They smile in your face and give you gifts that seem friendly at first glance. But on closer inspection, you realize that these gifts do you more harm than good. They often use the camouflage of kindness to hide their true intentions. To protect yourself from the manipulative tactics of the hidden enemy, vigilance is essential. Pay attention to how you feel after receiving a gift. If you feel uncomfortable, upset or hurt, this could be a sign that the gift contains hidden hostility. Question the motives behind the gift. Why did this person give you this particular gift? Is there something you might be overlooking? It is important to be strategic and refuse such gifts. Be polite but firm. Say things like, that's very nice of you, but I can't accept this gift. You don't always have to give an explanation. Your right to personal boundaries and well-being is reason enough. Another way to protect yourself is to rethink your relationship with the person. If you notice that someone keeps trying to hurt or sabotage you with seemingly nice gifts, it may be time to distance yourself from that person. Surround yourself with people who are genuinely well disposed towards you and whose gifts come from the heart. With this knowledge, you are now better prepared to recognize the tactics of the hidden enemy and protect yourself. Stay vigilant and set clear boundaries to protect yourself from insidious manipulation. With that, we've discussed the seven dangerous types of people you should never accept gifts from. It's crucial to recognize the true intentions behind gifts and protect yourself from manipulative tactics. Thank you for watching this far. This knowledge can help you banish negative influences from your life and maintain positive energy. Stay vigilant, set clear boundaries and trust your gut. You have the power to protect yourself from these manipulative people and take your life into your own hands. We've worked our way through the different types of people who pursue manipulative and harmful intentions through apparent generosity. Let's briefly summarize the seven types and their intentions. The manipulator wants to gain control over your life and make you dependent. 
The guilt generator uses gifts to create guilt and force you to act. The secret keeper hides their mistakes or unpleasant truths behind expensive or rare gifts. The jealous person encourages feelings of competition or dependency through their gifts. The control lover wants to exert power and control over your life through practical or symbolic gifts. The energy sucker robs you of your energy through emotionally binding gifts. The selfish one uses gifts to gain recognition or favors for himself. And finally, the covert enemy who hides hostility behind seemingly friendly gifts to secretly harm you. It is crucial to recognize the true nature of gifts and question the intentions of the giver. Not every gift comes from pure kindness, and sometimes there is more to a gift than meets the eye. Always remember that your well-being and independence come first. Don't let gifts push you into a position where you feel uncomfortable or obligated. You have the right to set your boundaries and protect yourself from manipulative tactics. Always listen to yourself and your intuition. You know yourself and your needs best. Be courageous and set your boundaries clearly. Don't be blinded by the apparent generosity of others and trust that you have the strength to protect yourself and make the right decisions for your well-being. The universe has sent you this warning to protect you from the hidden intentions of seemingly kind gifts. Take this knowledge seriously and be vigilant. You have the power to banish negative influences from your life and preserve positive energy. Stay strong, set clear boundaries and trust your gut feeling. You are the most important person in your life and it is up to you to take care of your well-being. Thank you for watching this far. Stay vigilant, protect yourself and always remember, your intuition is your best guide. Stay positive and strong, and don't let anyone manipulate you. Watch the video here if you want to learn more about the wisdom of the universe. See you next time and take good care of yourself.